what's going on guys so i came to split some wood here and i saw the picture that the guy showed me it's right beside uh, lake ontario but look at this it's got these big red oaks it's got this big teddy bear blow up thing oh, wow what a nice place so the wood's over to my left All right, how you doing? Good thing. All right, guys, let's get this thing in the back. I might have to go all the way around if I can't get it up this hill. I think I can do it anyway. This little coercion. I mean, I get it on the truck, right? That's a little tricky itself. problem with these splitters is any little bump they hate with a passion. There we go, just fits. The guy said four foot, one inch. Okay, throttle, choke, pull. If you can tell this is not the other machine and it's leaking just the same as the other one Pretty much the same rate except before it was spitting out of here on the other one this one It's just dripping it's dripping a lot, but the other one was spraying a lot So I still got that piece of rubber in the truck and I'm gonna cut that piece off and I'm just gonna get a hose clamp and then cover this whole thing All right spot number two I think I'm gonna save that pile of oak for last. Make it an oak grand finale, you know? So there's some other stuff around here. The lady was showing me. So she showed me that pile in front and then I didn't realize that there was the pile on the side. And then there's just a few here. Maybe a half a face cord, but not much of it needs to be split. And we're just in Scarborough here and uh, I think I didn't finish what I was saying earlier but we're just west of the beaches so all these areas have all these oak trees it's mostly reds and then a few white here or there that's beautiful hmm I nearly stepped in dog poop Okay, 
Okay, so there's some Norway maple. More oak. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is so small. It's not quite seasoned yet. Anything down there? Yeah, it's a bit of a mess here. Um, there's not too much to split down there. There's more on this side than there is on this side here. It's gonna be messy when I go and take all this out, you know? That one's pretty dry. That one looks like it can split. This one too. That's a big one. It's not dry. It's lost a lot of moisture, but it still needs to open out. chopper going by. Let's see if I can see it. Oh, it's the Chinook. Wonder where he's going. We might be going to the Air Force Base, which is uh, about an hour and 15 minutes from here, east, off of the 401 major highway.
that's it. What a nice view. Let's go to the edge here. Downtown is off to the east. You won't be able to see it because this whole section of the shoreline is in the way. But this is heading towards the bluffs to the left. There's actually bluffs where it's like an edge. It's all sandy there and people try to climb up and down it and or they go from the top and they try to get back up and sometimes they get stuck and then they have to get rescued and they get like $5,000 fines. And they make a news story out of it. It's such a bad scene, you know? Yeah, this it's all sand there. There's not really anything to grip when you're trying to get back up. You can get down easy, but not back up. It's a pretty calm day. No white caps out on the lake. And the visibility is not so good. You can see pretty far, but on a really good day, you can see over to the U.S. side. Way down that way is Rochester across the lake. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff.